The Seattle Seahawks travel to St. Louis to face their division rival Rams on Sunday. The Seahawks are a seven-point favorite on BetDAC. 43 is the total in this game. Now, there's no doubt Seattle's been much better than the Rams this season, but the Seahawks haven't quite been themselves. They lost at home last week to the Dallas Cowboys. Their defense has been vulnerable. I mean, Seattle, they're still ninth in total defense, but they haven't been that dominant unit that they were last season. Dallas was able to run the ball on them last week, which is a very rare thing. I don't believe St. Louis is going to be able to run the ball. The Rams haven't been able to do much of anything really on either side of the ball. That's why they're 1-4, and four, also 1-4 and four against the number. Here they are as a home underdog, though, getting a healthy seven points. And there's some turmoil surrounding the Seattle Seahawks right now. And I'm not just talking about the fact that they lost last week. You probably know by now Percy Harvin, the wideout who was supposed to really provide some punch to that Seattle offense this season, was traded this week to the New York Jets for a conditional draft pick. Apparently, Percy is a difficult guy to get along with, so he is no longer a member of the Seattle Seahawks. Remains to be seen how that's going to affect the team. We've heard rumors now that Percy got in fights with several teammates. Golden Tate, who's now an ex-teammate. Doug Baldwin, heard he almost got in a fight with Russell Wilson last week. Don't know if you read that also. But a couple of guys, notably Marshawn Lynch, have expressed disappointment that Harvin's no longer with the team. So again, no telling if that'll have any effect on the team at all. We do know that a dynamic offensive weapon no longer with the Seattle Seahawks. But the Seahawks like to run the football anyway. They are second in the NFL in rushing offense. They're averaging just a shade under 150 rushing yards per game. And in this game, they'll face a St. Louis defense that struggles stopping the run. The Rams, 26th in rushing defense. They're surrendering 139.8 rush yards per game. That Rams defense has been real disappointing this season. They just haven't been able to stop anybody. They're 30th in points allowed, surrendering exactly 30 points per game. So even though Seattle not a high-scoring offense, it'd take a real leap of faith to think the Rams are going to be able to stop them in this game. For that reason, I do lean towards the Seahawks. This is not one of my favorite games of the week. Don't like home underdogs in division games when that team is getting seven points or more. Don't like betting against home underdogs in division games of, of seven points or more. But beyond that, you know, the Harvin situation, the fact that Seattle has been a little bit disappointing this year, I was very surprised to see how well Dallas was able to move the ball on them last week. It's just it's enough to get me off of this game, even though, like I said, I do lean towards Seattle. Be very surprised if Seahawks were to lose this game, so a money line bet on Seattle might be the way to go. But if you're going to bite the bullet, don't want to fork out the extra dollars for that money line bet. Seattle minus seven, I believe, a better option than the other side here, St. Louis plus seven. I'd also look at under 43 in this game.